I am Dr. Parijat Dev Chaudhuri, Consultant International Cardiologist at Medithix Clinic, Mukundapur, Kolkata. Today, I am here to share some important facts about heart disease and cardiac problems. Many of my patients often ask if I have a cardiac problem, what all investigation I should do to diagnose it. So, there are some basic investigations which are not very costly also, which can give a fair idea about cardiac problems. The most important investigation which can be done on a daily basis is ECG. ECG actually is nothing but the rhythm structure of the heart which tells us if there is any rhythm abnormality, if heart rate is more, if it is less or it also says that if there is any cardiac uh, attack or heart attack has happened. So, ECG is the most important investigation which initially gives uh, idea to the physician that there is a cardiac ailment. If something is problematic in ECG, the next most important investigation is echocardiography. Echocardiography is nothing but a ultrasonography of the heart. In this, with the help of a probe, we can check inside the heart how are the chambers, how are the valves, how is the blood circulation. And we can also find out if there is any wall motion abnormality due to any blockage in coronary arteries. And it gives a very good idea about the functional status of the heart. So, after ECG and ECHO, if we are suspecting that a patient is having heart attack, the next most important investigation is TROPT. TROPT, many of us might have heard about TROPT. TROPT is nothing but a kit test which is done from blood. And if TROPT is positive in a patient who is having chest pain, then there is the idea that this patient is having a heart attack and he should get immediate medical attention. There are some advanced tests also like 24-hour Holter monitoring. In Holter test, we check the heart rhythm, how it is and actually Holter uh, investigation is advised to patients who are having palpitation to find out if there is any electrical blockage in the heart, if there is any irregular rhythm like atrial fibrillation or PSVT or if there is uh, any sinus bradycardia and if the patient is uh, needed pacemaker or not. Another very important investigation is treadmill test. If someone is uh, having on and off chest pain associated with uh, shortness of breath and other problem and the physician is suspecting that heart problem might be there, but ECG and echo is almost normal. Then the third important investigation which can find out if there is any ischemia in the heart is treadmill test. In treadmill test, the patient has to run on the treadmill machine and a continuous ECG monitoring is done. And this is usually done to find out if at the end of the exercise there are some new ECG changes. If the patient gets some new ECG changes uh, which suggest ischemia, then the patient should go for further investigation and he should also take some medication to prevent uh, cardiac problem. Another important investigation is job vitamin stress echo. This is done in people who are not able to work. Maybe some person might be having arthritis, may, might be very old and may not uh, work in a treadmill. So, in that case, dobitamine stress echo is a very good alternative. This is just like a normal echocardiography. It is uh, like UHG of the heart, but we inject dobitamine in the patient to increase the heart rate and to find out if there is any hidden ischemia, which we are not able to understand on the resting echocardiography. With all this investigation, if uh, as a cardiologist, we are suspecting that the patient is having any ischemic issues in the heart, we then prescribe the patient about uh, coronary angiography. Now, coronary angiography can be two types. It can be CT coronary angiography or it can be conventional coronary angiography. CT coronary angiography, actually, we advise to people who have very less chance of cardiac disease because its negative predictive value is high. So, if CT coronary angiography is normal, then the patient should not go for any other investigation and we can say that the patient is uh, not having any cardiac uh, ischemia. But if CT coronary angiography is showing some problem, then he has to undergo a conventional coronary angiography to confirm the percentage of blockage. So, in people in whom we are already suspecting that he might have some cardiac issues, we directly advise the patient conventional coronary angiography. 
Now, coronary angiography is a very short procedure. It is a painless, bloodless procedure. It is done under local anesthesia. It is a daycare procedure and uh, this is very safe procedure to find out the exact percentage of the blocking, blockage in the heart. So, if uh, angiography shows some problem, then the patient might undergo uh, angioplasty, stenting or other procedure. So, in uh, short, the cardiac investigations uh, are following. It can be a ECG, can be an echocardiography treadmill test, halter test or it can be a dobutamine stress echo and the next important investigation is coronary angiography. With all this investigation, we can clearly find out if the patient is suffering from heart disease or not and we can do the needful as soon as possible. Thank you.